no slouch on the bike. What would it take for you to uh, start matching the pace of Mark Cavendish there? Oh, about a thousand watts, I think. This boy's got some big legs. <laughs> I don't mean that in a sexual way, but they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I told you to keep that quiet. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll keep that. I'll talk about that later. Um, but first of all, I'd just like to say congratulations on, uh, you know, um, the Sky thing. Obviously, it's a big sponsor for the Autosport Awards. It, it's a big thing. This evening. It's a big thing. I'd like to thank, thank uh, you know, Vodafone, Johnny Walker, Mobile One, all the sponsors that I have, because you, that's all you've done this evening. Uh, well, exactly. Exactly. Basically. <laughs> Big it up for the BBC. <laughs> Woo! It's great to be free. Well said. And, and Sky, sorry. Yeah. Now, looking back on, I mean, this last year, you must rate as highly as your world championship. You, you were sensational this year. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> No, I mean, that, come, that comes from the commercial keep, side keep of coming, broadcasting. It's, Steve. Uh, how would you rate what you achieved in, in uh, 2011 to your world? You look very... Uh, crossing your arms, that's not a good sign, you know that. <laughs> We're working together next year, Steve. Come on, no, be positive. No, no, no. no, no sky is only... cuts off there, the sky. Right, good. But, uh, so I'm really happy to be here. A good season. Yes. Let's get back to that. The yes. positives that you took out of this season, what makes you most proud about this season then? Uh, well, you know, for last year for me was a, um, a new experience working with a new team and uh, um, for me I've, I feel that I've really improved with the team and we've really, you know, worked together over the last sort of two years and uh, I've really enjoyed myself, I really have and for me that's the most important thing right now, you know, after winning the championship in 2009, um, I always, you know, the most important thing for me was to enjoy myself and uh, 2011 has been a really good year. It's not been perfect. You know, there's been one guy out there, Seb, um, and Red Bull, who have done a great job this year, I must say. Staggering job. We haven't been good enough to beat them, but I did wear a tie tonight. <laughs> Seb. <laughs> I also have an extra one here if you want it, Seb. So I'm up here, okay? Um, but um, no, seriously, those guys did an amazing job. You know, the last two years, they've been unstoppable. So. Big congratulations to them. Um, for us, I think, as I said, you know, we build as a team. We have a very good base, and I think there's a lot to improve for next season. Um, I think, uh, you know, eight podiums out of the last nine races is a good place to be. And uh, yeah, 2012 is hopefully a year where we can challenge Red Bull because uh, we need a bit of challenge in Formula One. We need some good competition at the front. Yeah. But within the team, it's also been uh, a bit of a challenge. It's been fun, but it's been highly competitive yourself and Lewis, isn't it? Yeah, you know, but that's one of the, the main reasons why I wanted to drive for, for McLaren. Sorry, Vodafone, McLaren, Mercedes. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, for me, that was one of the big aims for me, uh, to, to race for a team that had a driver that was so competitive like Lewis and, uh, you know, world champion. And to be fair, you know, he's... He's one of the fastest guys ever in Formula One. He really, really is. And to race alongside him, you know, you learn a lot from him. And uh, hopefully he learns from me as well. And to get some good results this year, three wins, some, three very special wins for me in my career. And um, hopefully that will, will help me for 2012 because you know, second in the championship is nice, you know, but it's not our aim. You know, the aim is to win. And uh, the aim is to beat Seb next year. Everyone's saying, is he under pressure? But, you know, he's been under pressure for two years. But hopefully next year we can have one over on him. A lot of brave words being said by a variety of teams. How tough is it going to be to get closer to seven Red Bull next year, though? Yeah, it's, it's never easy, and that's why we love it. Um, I don't think we'll be the only team that will be competitive and, uh, and really fighting with, with Red Bull next year. I think Ferrari will be there as well. And, I, you know, I, I think uh, Mercedes will be there also. So... It's not going to be easy, but that's, uh, that's exciting. And I know the guys at, at, at McLaren are, are working very hard, and I'm sure every team is. Um, but one thing I think people don't realize about McLaren is um, they are a massively passionate team. Yeah. And they might not come across from the outside as being passionate, but trust me, they really are. And I, you know, I really do mean that. Yeah. Um, so it's exciting to be with a team like that. And uh, hopefully I'll have a little, well, I will have a bit more input to, to 2011 car than I had to the 2010, sorry, 2012 car and 2011 car. And uh, we can go and fight for victories and uh, hopefully fight for the World Championship. Well, British Motorsport and a whole range of broadcasters uh, will be behind you uh, next year. And uh, we wish you the best. Jensen, all the best. Thank you.
And Mark Cavendish, what a big year for him as well.